Are we excited? Yes. Amen. May init ba? No? Amen. So, amen. Um, surely we are excited. I remember before um, um, when we are courting, who, who know how to court? Amen. Yung naliligaw. Amen. <laughs> Kasi dati, susisang nanligaw sa akin. Amen? Amen? So, buma, bu, bumawi ka pag nandito ka. Amen? Amen. Um, when we are courting, once a week, we, are, we try traditional courting, right? So, we are excited after one week. Uh, um, we, we ask to use, you know, uh, once a week, we visit our, you know, uh, um, future. May we put your girlfriend, lalo na kung nakakilala na 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 um, nakakakita na tayo ng result. Amen, bro? Praise the Lord. Man, so we have to excite, excited uh, sa, sa, sa Panginoon because, you know, for the whole week, for the whole week, we are busy working. Amen? And for this day, this is the Lord's day. Amen? Do you believe that? Yes. This day is the Lord's day. Amen? As we say, as we said in um, our verse for today, when I prayed three weeks ago, I asked God, God, what do you want uh, when I stand in the church? What do you want to share with my presence? Then God, please God, um, I asked Him, reveal it in my dream. God didn't reveal it. And well, I tried to read Isaiah's. I tried to read Jeremiah. When I read John, God said, give them a simple message. And said, what is that, God? He said, um, in chapter 2, he said, Jesus replied, very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Amen. A lot of Christians in this world, they are said, they are Christian. Amen. But as Jesus said here, unless they are born again. So do we accept right now that we are born again? Can we say in loud voice? We are born again. We are born again. Amen. So as a Christian, before we are a Roman Catholic, we said, Oh, I'm a Christian. Amen. Also, some um, really religion um, also they are saying they are Christian also and they believe to, to Jesus but you know before we go on um, John in first John uh, a little background on this verse uh, in the beginning John uh, said uh, revealed to him he said in the beginning the, the word was God and the word was God so in the beginning, Jesus is already there. In the beginning, that uh, Jesus is, speak, is speaking already in all the people. In the Old Testament, it is secret that Jesus is already there. But as we go on, he said in John 2, um, um, Jesus start his miracle in John chapter 2. <coughs> What is the first miracle of Jesus? Water to wine. Sorry? Water to wine. Amen. In the wedding, water into wine. Amen? Amen? And uh, in chapter 2 also, um, he become angry in, uh, in the temple. You see, in the, in the temple he said to the Pharisees, this temple I will destroy it in three days I will build again. Amen? So then the time also is you know it's, it's secret to, to, the, to everybody. If they did not know that, that what Jesus said on the time. And in this time when Jesus um before that also um uh, John the Baptist prepared um, prepared the path of Jesus. Amen? Uh, he said, 
uh, I'm not worthy. He said, uh, I'm not worthy on the one account. He said, even to, um, what he said, even to strap his sandals and untie it, I'm not worthy. Amen? So, in chapter 3, when Jesus, one night, uh, Nicodemus, one of the ruler for in one of his one of the Pharisees came to Jesus and asked him. And Jesus replied to him. First, definitely did not understand. And I think that time and if we are there we did not understand also what Jesus meant. So Jesus said to him that you he must be born again. Born again not not on physical but in his spirit. And do we believe that right now we are born again in the Spirit? Amen? So, shall I serious? Amen? So, as we go on, God said, tell the church, thus, because we are born again and we know we are, Christ we are Christian, tell them there's a 3S for being a Christian. Amen? So this is the title. Amen. We know that on the last last week, Pastor Francis shared to us that this coming year, or even though this 2016, we are already blessed. Amen. We are favor. And as Pastor said, the year this coming year, this is the year of the Lord favor. Amen. Is it because God? is with us. Amen? In Matthew 1, 18 to 23. Amen? We know that because this is, once we are a Christian, definitely we are blessed. We are paid for. So this coming year of 2017, we expect that. If we are, we have, if we are sick, we, we will pray, we will heal. Amen? And we need war, definitely, we pray, we pray, and you know the blessing too. Amen? But this 2017, I know that uh, some, some of us are miss way back home. Amen? We miss home. Homesick. Nothing called homesick. Amen? <laughs> Homesickness. So, I remember when we had a teenager way back 20 years ago. Amen. So, we tried to make a, a bamboo canyon. Amen. During New Year. Amen. I think it's, uh, sorry, it's around 31 hours before New Year's Eve. Amen. So, after 31 hours, it's another year ahead. It's 2017. Amen? And uh, I remember we tried to make uh, a bamboo canyon. We put a, a kerosene or a, a lighter fluid. Who know how to do that? How to make it? Amen? Praise the Lord. Amen, amen. So, and we miss a lot. Maybe we miss... We miss food. <laughs> This traditional food in the Philippines. Maybe from the FCS we have a different uh, traditional food during the New Year. What's that? Amen. There's a traditional food in here, but you know, the taste and the ambience and you know, with, with, with our family, it's different. Amen? And maybe like this also. <laughs> during New Year's Day. What they call this two months. Amen? Nagubuto na kayo? Amen. Siyempre hindi mo wala ito. Amen? Praise the Lord. So, amen, amen. And, um, how? Amen. So, Christmas, also at New Year, we have, sometimes we are to cook uh, a traditional food. Amen? Street barbecue. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. And fruits. So, 
Before, I think, we try to collect the round fruit. <laughs> but maybe now, now it's different, right? Just the, we put the fruit and we eat it. Before the New Year's Eve. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And um, we know that, that sometimes we are uh, wearing a dress with the... Uh, what are that? Why? Why not strike? <laughs> well, that's for the coin. Strike for the bill. <laughs> Amen. And um, there's a lot of New Year resolution. Amen. There's nothing wrong with New Year resolution, but if we, if we know how to deal with it. <laughs> Amen. A lot of New Year resolution said, every New Year, I resolve to lose 20 pounds, and I do. Oh, it's the Lord. <laughs> When? <laughs> when you start 10 years ago, then times 20 times 10 is 200 pounds. Maybe you are. <laughs> but the problem, the problem is that I get 30 pounds up there. Up there, the Praise the Lord. Amen. And um, this is, I think, popular New Year's resolution. Amen. We have like this New Year's resolution. Maybe from Shikai na 99%. <laughs> Exercise and diet. Praise the Lord. So, and sometimes we try to think what we have to do on the New Year. I start my I start my my diet, my exercise. I have to buy. What they call this one? Treadmill. Amen. In January, I buy treadmill. I want to lose weight. Amen. But the problem, after four months, <laughs> it becomes stuck. <laughs> Amen. So this is new year. If you buy, so let's see. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. So, but there's one important new year resolution that we have to do. This one. My new year resolution. Number one, study my Bible. And second, do what it says. Amen. Can we stand and make, make a promise and put our right hand? Amen. Can we stand? Then just say, Brother Erwin, my New Year's resolution is study my Bible. And do what it says. Do what it says. Can we say it aloud? One, two, three. Brother Erwin. I study my Bible. And do what it says. Do what it says. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's a promise. Don't promise. Amen. 